the dangerous Santos Escobar. From Lucha Royalty to the Emperor of Lucha Libre. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. It is time to pay respect to the boss of the streets. Santos Escobar does not play games. Escobar is calm, steady, calculated, and does whatever he has to do to succeed. This superstar possesses the smoothest tope suicida in the business. It hits you like an arrow straight from hell. And he also possesses a phantom driver that will absolutely flatten you. every night. Robert Roode about to compete here tonight. to see veteran moves for days. An incredibly impressive athlete. Yeah, but his tactics in the ring can sometimes be a little less than glorious. Oh, trust me, if it earns the win, it's glorious. With Santos Escobar, you really can never tell what's going through his head or what his intentions are. It's because he's smarter than everyone else, Cole. Escobar has a killer instinct and knows what it takes to be at the top of WWE. Santos is set on forging his own path and no longer following in the footsteps of his former idols. There's no doubt that Santos is focused on causing damage to anyone, whether that's friend or foe. And then you've got the decorated superstar, Robert Roode, known to use every vicious trick you can think of in the ring. Roode will do whatever it takes to keep himself moving forward on a path to fortune and glory. And I applaud his unwavering ambition. Roode has gone far in this business by always looking out for himself. You don't get the kind of global recognition Robert Roode has by playing nice. You get it by being cutthroat. Escobar is picking the competition. Kick in the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special, yes. Oh, the gory trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Ooh, bullseye. Off the ropes. Leg drop. Into the pin attempt. Is a break before the count of two. This isn't even close to over. <laughs> Setting up. <laughs> Suplex! Can Rude withstand much more of this? Santos is showing no mercy out here. There's not much room out there. D, D, T, face 
face first. Many a match has turned on that kind of contact with the apron. This could be a key moment in this contest. What's the best strategy when going head to head with a guy like Robert Roode, who knows every dirty trick in the book? Well, I think Robert Roode actually helped write that book, Cole. When facing Roode, you need to play it safe and wait for openings. That's the only way you'll avoid falling into one of his traps. That could produce a dislocation or, at the very least, a pinched nerve. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. him back. Nobody likes you. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. He gets back into the ring. Taking this outside. This could be good. Hurricanrana. Off the ropes. Yeah. Leg drop. Arm is grapevine. Trying to step through. Oh. Here it comes. Tequila Sunrise. Oh, the torque on the knee. Rolling through now. Couple of kicks will break it. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Punishing stretch. You have to protect your shoulders from hits like that. You don't want to compromise your ability to throw a punch or lock in a hole. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh. Hooked up. Nothing fancy there. Spinning Uranagi. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. A savvy attack by the ring wise veteran Robert Roode. No, no, no. The dive! That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. <laughs> Kick to the gut. Set up. Canadian destroyer. No flash, no ceremony. Just pure skill from Escobar. Escobar, Phantom Rider! Exclamation delivered by Escobar. Super kick! Ouch. He returns to the ring. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. as if nothing phases him. 
The man's impervious to distraction because he's constantly focused on the task at hand. Yeah, it's like watching a machine. and running over the competition. I certainly hope the ring has been reinforced for this one. It's ready to handle a monster beatdown. Awareness is the key for a triple threat where one mistake can cost you the match. All set for action, and in this one, we see Gunther, Otis, and Strowman. Triple threat matches are not for the weak will. Losing this match can be completely out of your control. Sure, clothesline! A little rope assistance. Attacking the arm. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Left by the turnbuckles. He can do it here. And he stops the count. Lucky him. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Knee drop connects. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Oh, my! Able to reverse that one. Just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. Well, I don't think there was anything necessary about that. Is it enough here? And a kick out before the count even begins. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. The powerhouse Strowman knocked a bit off his block. Gunther used that moment to teach him a very painful lesson. Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. Oh my goodness, and that was a precisely measured attack. Corey, would you agree that triple threat matches can lead to unexpected alliances? Oh, absolutely. Triple threats create circumstances that lead to interesting bedfellows, allies out of necessity. Eliminating the strongest entity so you can go one-on-one -on -one is a common game plan. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps.
Tandem offense here. Double gut buster. Oh, that's going to hurt. I like this strategy. Find an ally, clean house together, and settle it between the two of you at the end. Oh, face first off the apron. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. Brock Strowman just goading his opponent. Toss back into the ring. Oh, boy, come on, not the chair. Gets him with the counter. Gunther doesn't just want to fight, he wants to battle. Just like that, Braun gets pounced on. There's the takedown. He may be in a bad way here. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Come on! It goes without saying that there is a certain dis... And here's Gunther setting him up. Returning to the ring now. After everything, these two... He's flailing, desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great counter. Oh, oh man! That looks bad for Gunther's face. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come. Oh, no. Oh, what a splash by Otis. That could be Strowman's demise. Boom. The ring general showing off his power. Oh, a power bomb. Gunther can taste victory now. Two. And Gunther able to get the win. Here is your winner, Gunther. Tremendous victory in this triple threat match. I know there is only one true winner of a match like this, guys but the other two superstars should keep their heads up high after the performances they pulled off here. Unfortunately, there are no consolation prizes in triple threat matches, Saxton, but you have a point. All three of these competitors really gave it their all here. Here comes the most diabolical duo in WWE. Karrion Cross and Scarlet, the Doomsday Machine, and his sinister siren. Loyal to each other until the end of time. Cross and Scarlet are inseparable and incapable of showing any mercy inside the ring. A match made in, well, maybe not heaven. and cold-hearted, these two are exceptionally dangerous. Whatever it takes to win, Cross and Scarlet will do it. Just like Scarlet says, time to fall and pray. And time is up for Cross and Scarlet's enemies.
the unholy enchantress, Isla Dawn. A superstar who claims to be guided by spirits. And their opponent, first from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn. The mind games of Isla Dawn have already begun as she casts a disturbing gaze out on the WWE Universe. Dawn is, well, she's slightly unhinged. She's a walking nightmare, you mean. We'll see if Isla Dawn's spells and spirits can get the job done tonight. Ooh, you better be careful, Corey. She might just put a curse on you. in effect tonight where if the opposite gender is tagged in all opposing genders must leave the ring this match is about to kick off with scarlet and carrion cross and in the other corner they will be dealing with isla dawn and ashante the adonis there is so much animosity between these two teams i think the men and the women are really going to give it their all here oh wicked kick to the lower back oh, stop kick lands Places are right in the corner. Looking for a scoop slam. No. Slips behind. Inverted DDT. Up and down. What a slam. Lands face first. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. From the middle rope. She gets the tag. That means her opponent has to leave the ring, too. Good golly, what a knee. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, right to the throat. A powerful suplex toss. Oh. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Right to the face. My God. Incoming. Crash landing. Powerbomb. Now that's what you call impact. Takedown. Skull first. Elbow drop right on point. Just brutalizing their opponent with forearms to the side of the face. Going way up high. Taking flight. Big mistake there, Corey. 
Well, she knows that now. What a shot! Oh, oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, solid form. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. Cover. Power right out in one. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Don rising up the turnbuckles. Taking flight. Diving body splash. And the momentum playing possum. Shoulders down. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Running clothesline. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. She tagged out, but if you ask me, I think her opponent wanted a break, too. DDT! Oh, what a hip toss! And by the looks of that maneuver, the so-called size advantage might have just disappeared. wonder if he can keep it up. Counter by Ashante. Delivers the knee. Ashante may have just learned firsthand what happens when you run your mouth too much here in WWE. A very aggressive cross on the attack. Placed into the corner. Monkey flip. Ashante just adding salt to the wound right now. Look out! Uh -oh. Suicide dive! Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Gotta look out for that right hook. Short clothesline hits its mark. He's one step ahead there. Caught with a lariat. Finds the mark. And Ashante keeping the pressure on. Cross has a look of someone surprised to be in such a position. And he retaliates on Adonis. And Cross is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Cross finds a way to answer back, and it could be a turning point. with the crowd in the palm of his hand by the looks of things. That ends this mixed tag match. Here are your winners. The team of Karen Cross and Scarlett. Rules are rules, and the referee deemed this one a countout. I hate a countout. I feel cheated, and I know the WWE Universe feels cheated.